Yo, what's up guys? Sam here. The Apple Watch Series 5 is a product I was just telling you guys a couple days ago we didn't know much about. And like 24 hours after making that video as it goes, a ton of news has broken about the product, confirming that Apple is definitely releasing new models. Like we have objective evidence hidden inside of the latest Watch OS 6 beta. Apple themselves has leaked that show two new casing options coming for the watch and a new report for Minchiko to talk about as well. If you guys are excited for this, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more. There is hope for an Apple Watch Series 5. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I wanna start off with the report yesterday from Apple analyst Minchiko. Confirms the fact that not only is the Apple Watch Series 5 going to have an OLED display manufactured by Japan Displays, but the fact that it is coming this fall. Now, Apple could wait to launch the watch until October or November or December, but they've never really done that before, and I don't think that's gonna happen this year. I think that on September 10th, 2019, the leaked official date for Apple's September event, we are going to now see for sure the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the Apple Watch Series 5. We also know through this report that Apple is working on a new model. Like, we were skeptical for a while if it was just gonna be like a new ceramic finish for the Series 4, but I, I feel pretty confident now that a Series 5 model is coming, even if the upgrades inside are not gonna be that significant. And here's why. A few hours after that story broke, we got one of the bigger leaks from Apple. Uh, I wouldn't say ever, but pretty close to up there. So hidden inside of the latest watchOS 6 beta, my boys, my friends over at iHelp VR have been doing some great work and discovered some leaked Apple Watch Series 5 setup images. And taking a look at them, it does look like nothing new at first, like the design here isn't different from like the Series 4 to what now I believe is going to be the Apple Watch Series 5, but taking a look at the text here, you'll notice immediately at the top of the first image, it says titanium case. And uh, quick fact check, there is no titanium Apple Watch that is on the market at this point in time, shipped and manufactured by Apple. Take a look at the image on the right. Apple had a ceramic option in the past. Historically, it was there. They eliminated that edition model for the Apple Watch Series 4. I don't really know why, and I don't think anybody does. And look what it says here. Apple Watch 44 millimeter ceramic case. Neither of these watches are released right now. These are two unreleased Apple watches that Apple has been working on for the past year that are now about to come out when the iPhones are announced on September 10th. Turns out these aren't actually just setup images that have leaked out. Apple has actually put in the entire like post setup video in here that shows everything animating into place. Again, courtesy of iHelpBR. Please show them some love. I'll leave a link to their stuff down below, but this is a nice animation. This is what we've seen on the Apple Watch since the Series 1, but now we have some new info here. So yes, we do have a new titanium casing confirmed. We have new ceramic casing confirmed for the 2019 Apple Watch that comes out in just under a month now. We also have confirmation of the sizing. So in 2018, it was a huge year for the Apple Watch because we got the new all screen design, some serious upgrades across the board, a super fast processor inside. Apple also jumped up from 38 and 42 millimeters to 40 and 44 meters respectively because of the new screen size increase. That sizing is staying the same this year and that is not only confirmed for the 44 millimeter again in the setup video, Apple has also hidden assets for the 40 millimeter Apple Watch as well. So the sizing for the Apple Watch, the actual screen size, size is not changing, which I think in turn tells us that your Apple Watch bands are going to continue to work yet again with this year's model. There has been speculation for so long that as Apple tends to do, once one technology gets so outdated, they just cut off support, release a new model that you have to buy new stuff for. This year, just like with the Series 4 when the screen size increased, um, everything's staying the same. You're gonna be able to use the same bands that you've always had. And while that's not like spelled out in iOS 13, feel like it's spelled out up here. So with the new casing options, what are the actual benefits to a new titanium and new ceramic design? Well, ceramic's been around before. It feels really elegant. It's obviously super smooth. And I would say it's a bit more classy than like the cheap, I say cheaper, like $450. Cheaper like the aluminum one that I've been buying, which is like, you know, the cheapest Apple Watch you can buy. But titanium's interesting because up until recently, Apple was like, we don't need titanium and everything. And now they got the Apple Card coming out. They've also been working on now an Apple Watch with titanium finish. And what's neat about titanium is it has the strongest strength to density ratio of any metal on the planet, because it is pretty lightweight, but it's also one of the strongest materials in the world. So I guess if you want a more durable watch that doesn't get scratched as easily, that also looks really nice. 
Um, you can buy the titanium one. I just have a feeling that unlike the Apple card, you know, I don't think the titanium upgrade is gonna be free for you. What's neat about titanium is it has the strongest strength to density ratio of any metal on the planet, because it is pretty lightweight, but it's also one of the strongest materials in the world. So I guess if you want a more durable watch that doesn't get scratched as easily, that also looks really nice. Uh, you can buy the titanium one. I just have a feeling that unlike the Apple card, you know, I don't think the titanium upgrade is gonna be free for you. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing it in person. Unfortunately, at this point, we have still not seen an actual leaked image of the Apple Watch, but confirmation of the materials a month ahead of the keynote uh, is huge, considering just three days ago, we were even worrying if there was going to be an Apple Watch Series 5 upgrade. Now, I wanna point this out here too, because it's important. There is still a chance that these could simply be new casing options for the already existing Apple Watch Series 4. Apple could, hypothetically, just not update the watch this year, but I would find that so weird for a wearable category that just continues to grow like near exponentially. Like, I feel like there's just gotta be something coming to the Apple Watch this year, maybe a new solid state button on the side that we've heard about because uh, of the new casing materials, maybe it's something else entirely different, but I, I just can't see Apple not announcing some, you know, even minor upgrade for the internals to the Apple Watch. It, it just, it wouldn't feel right. So that's the latest on the Apple Watch Series 5. If you guys were looking to buy an Apple Watch Series 4 because of what I talked about in one of my older videos about maybe the Series 5 not coming out, I'd hold off, I'd wait. We now have really good evidence inside of iOS 13 that Apple is indeed planning to upgrade the Apple Watch Series 5 in just under a month. Again, this is going to be announced on September 10th, Tuesday, 2019. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more. I'd really appreciate your guys' support there. and. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.